so much. It's so cute. And this is my puppy love shirt. The one I just got from Dollywood. And I thought that these matched really well. So yeah, I love this. It's so cute. I love the little roses. Okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to use the Neutrogena Lip Plumping Serum first. Like I have to walk with like 
actually love swimming. I love it so much. Uh, I especially love swimming in lakes. Lakes are my favorite. I don't, I don't mind the ocean, but I do prefer to stay close to shore at the ocean. I've been at the beach in Hawaii too many times when there have been shark attacks. I'm a little scared of, of, of that. So I want to be close enough to the shore to get out quickly. Not that it still can't happen even really close to shore because it can and it does. But in my mind, I feel safer. Okay, so next I'm going in with concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I need to find another, like, good drugstore concealer. I love this one. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just interested in trying another one. That's good. If you guys have, uh, like, a favorite drugstore concealer, then let me know. Especially one that you like in summer. Because summer is coming up. There's another one from Maybelline that I've used that I like a lot. I think it might be the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I do like that one a lot as well. If you, if you have a favorite, let me know what it is, because I would like to, I would like to get another one, just to have some options. So, another thing that I really don't like is when you're cooking. like as I go because if there's an enormous mess at the end I feel so overwhelmed uh, so I really I really don't like when if I'm if I'm cooking like if I'm in charge <laughs> of the cooking and someone's trying to help me and they're just like making a huge mess and not cleaning as they go I would just rather not have the help, to be honest, because that's so overwhelming to me, having a giant pile of dishes at the end. Yeah, I don't like that. I would way rather just clean as I go and keep it like what to me feels manageable. So I'm powdering my face now with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer Contour Palette. So another thing that's a pet peeve of mine is when stores or restaurants play ridiculously loud music. I like having a little background music, of course, but I don't want it to be so loud that I can't hear the people at my table talk to me, and then we have to scream over the music. I hate that. I absolutely do not like that at all. That is so unnecessary. I, I just don't understand. I came here to eat, not go to a rave, you know? I don't get that. So, I'm just contouring a little bit. Basically, any, any place that has really loud music, um, I don't like. But, of course, if it's, if it's like a, a place where you would expect loud music, like, a club or I have no idea I don't go to these places anyway I don't go to clubs but if it's a place where you would expect there to be loud music that's fine like because I came here essentially because I want the environment to be loud and obnoxious right but if it's a place where I'm, I'm just coming to get something to eat or I just need to get my groceries, like, that just makes sense to me. I did not sign up for 
was the color oh mesmerizing the shade is mesmerizing and what I think I want to do because this is like a, a, a liquid I think I'm gonna just put it on, on my hand like right here and take a brush and apply it with a brush because I don't think I want to just put it straight onto my face. I'm not sure how well that would go for the blending process. So there it is. I'm going to kind of just smudge it out with the brush. So there's that. I think there's a lot of it on the brush. I'm a little scared. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm just going to tap, tap, tap very lightly at first because I'm not sure never used this before. Yeah, it's going pretty good. I was worried it was just going to be like so much all at once because I've used a similar formula blush from e.l.f. before and it went really badly because I, I tried to apply it directly to my skin and I couldn't blend it out and so then I had to take all my makeup off and start over. Okay, that looks nice. I'm, I really like that. So then I'm going to take another brush, one of these, one of these brushes. I love these so much, you guys. Okay, and I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. blush. And this is always cheeky. with a brush. 
look and I'm using um, matte eyeshadow so they're gonna stay pretty well anyway okay another thing um, that really annoys me again I would never say anything but in my head it annoys me um, when people misuse uh, then and than I don't like that
especially um, in the airports when I used to be a flight attendant, it was so common for people to stop right at the top of the escalator. And I'm like, okay, look, we cannot stop behind you. Like, we are on moving stairs. You have to keep going. <laughs> I've literally had to, like, gently put my hand on someone's back and be like, I'm sorry, we can't stop behind you. Escalator's still going. <laughs> and it's so dangerous, you know, not being able to get it off an escalator because then people pile up and people start falling down them and, and, and with luggage at the airports too. I'm like, don't stop at the top of the escalator. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Okay, so next I'm going to go into this gray shade down here. And I kind of just want it to be like a wash of color. I think I'm going to go back into the white again on the inner part of the lid with like a more dense brush. So I'm just going to focus on the, the crease and the outer part of the eye with the gray. Um, another thing I really don't like is people being rude to customer service, anyone in customer service. Um, I don't get that because do you really think being rude is going to help you get what you're, what you're wanting? Because I promise you it's not. When I was a flight attendant, if someone was rude, I would do everything possible to be as unhelpful as possible, right? Like, while hiding the fact that I'm being unhelpful. Because I just don't, I don't understand why, why would you ever want to be rude? I mean, to anyone, really, there's no point. But, like, people in customer service get treated poorly pretty much all day long. And just makes no, no sense to me. My husband and I have both been in customer service, like, the, our whole working lives, and, um, that's just one thing we will never understand. I mean, someone in customer service could be being extremely rude to me when I'm a customer and I would never, never, never dish it back. Like, I would just be like, they're having a terrible day. I have bad timing. I showed up, you know, when, just after they've probably dealt with someone being super rude to them and they're having a real bad day. I would just, I would try to say something nice to them, try to make them smile, <sighs> empathize, tell them, <laughs> It's not the business. 
business's responsibility. It is the dog owner's responsibility. So, I really don't like when, when people don't clean up after their pets because it just makes it harder for people with pets to be able to bring them places and just gives a bad reputation for everyone with a pet when when people don't clean up after them okay so now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Great Lash Big Mascara and then I have one more pet peeve this is the last one which is say you've been waiting in a long line it's your turn to order. And you've, you've been waiting, right? So you've had plenty of time to think about what you want. And then you get up there and you don't know what you want. I, I'm sorry, but I can't understand. I can't. I don't get that. It annoys me so much. And that used to annoy me when I was a flight attendant because people in the last couple of rows would be waiting like an hour to get whatever beverage it is they're wanting and you get to their row and you ask them what they want and they have no idea well what do you have you've been waiting an hour and you didn't look at the menu in your seat pocket i don't understand i i just i literally don't understand i never will but then again, I'm one of those people that looks at the menu for somewhere before I go there. Like, I get so stressed out if I have to go to a restaurant and I haven't had time to look at the menu online yet. Because I already want to know what I'm getting before I get there. Because that's just, you know. But, uh, anyway. I just, I won't, I won't ever understand that, like, not knowing what you want when you've been waiting for so long. Bizarre to me. Okay, so I got this new LA Colors Jelly Balm Lip Balm. Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree. And this one is a strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry. So I'm gonna put this on. It smells really good. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with this LA Colors Roll-On Gloss. And this is in the coconut scent. Coconut, 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 coconut. I have the watermelon one of this too. And I've been using it so much. I love, love, love it. And I really like the, the packaging. I think it's so cute. It has like 2000s vibes. Okay. Um, in my opinion, this smells a little bit more like popcorn <laughs> than it does coconut, but like, I get where they were going with it. But to me, it smells more like popcorn. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, that was fun talking to you guys about my pet peeves. Um, let me know what your pet peeves are in the comments. Um, it's always, it's always so personal, you know, like, some things that bother pe some people, other people, like, don't even notice. Like, for example, babies crying on an airplane. I can't even hear that. I can't even hear it anymore. Like, I used to, I remember when I was a brand new flight attendant, but someone would come to the back and be like, oh, there's a baby crying. And I'm like, oh, I can't even hear it. <laughs> I can't hear it anymore. But it's like background noise now to me. But yeah, it's always, it's always so personal. So I'd love to know what your pet peeves are. Um, do let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave a like 
and please do subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back for my next video.